Time for a further in-cycle look at key mountain stages from this year's Giro. Our guide once again is Eros Poli, celebrated for one of the great Tour de France underdog wins in 1994. The man who became one of the darlings of cycling during the 90s takes us through one of the hardest days the riders will have in the saddle, stage 19 to Cervinia. This hard stage is the long stage of the, this Giro. Three big climb, all in the final, in the last 50 k. And here the ruler, they control the race. They must to keep concentrate and support the pain. Because after 18 stages at the head, it's a lot of pain. The Giro is back-loaded with mountain stages in the third and final week, with three days in the high mountains. A mini-tour of Piedmont takes in five provinces before riders reach the Alsta Valley. Stage 19 starts on the plains of Gravellona Torce, and after the third category climb of Croce Serra, the peloton heads towards two first category climbs before they race for victory towards Chevinia. For sure somebody attack at the top of the for the sprint of the king of the mountain. And probably they keep going to try to attack the second climb of the day. They call the San Patreon. Yeah, the last three kilometers on each climb the, the, the mass harder because in the, in the last 4K of the climb, you can do the difference. Now, this is a hard session. 12%. I can see in front of me a large corner on the right. And probably this is the top because I can see the road going down. Bon voyage. By now, the riders will have completed over 190 kilometers with another 40 to go almost exclusively uphill. After the 20k descent down San Bartolomé, riders will be turning squares as they approach the 16km climb up Col de Saint Pantaleon. With the average gradient of 7.2% and maxing out at 12, there is little respite. This climb will more than likely offer numerous chances to attack if anyone has anything left. Here we are. Well, at the start of the second big climb of the day, the Col de Saint Pantaleon, we were in 97. The Giro was decided. It's the hardest. Uh, it's the first star, but hard the last three kilometers. Close to France and Switzerland, this is a steep border region and it's got plenty of peculiarities. I like French name in this area, of course, because we are very close to France, but the food and wine is much better in Italy, I'm sorry. An Italian through and through, it seems. Enos's build and roll meant that he was a lead-out for the big-name sprinters, but he had to ensure that he made it through the mountains first. Maybe no more than 20 riders that he had of this big stage, and the rest of the peloton behind to try to survive. So if in the head, the leader go up about 22, 23 k an hour, in this, part, in, the, in this last part of time, the Gruppetto go up 15k an hour, 16, maximum. I love this place, the Ristoro, Ostello. Ristoro also mean you can stop, have a wine, cheese, salami, good food. This should be a good king of the mountain. There, I'm always the first. Here we are, this is the last kilometer. If you feel the good lead, good legs, this is a good moment. If you have enough energy to attack here, you probably have more than enough to go to the top to the end of this beautiful stage. The weather gods have shone on the Giro d'Italia over the past few days, but if the heavens open up, it can be a deciding factor come race day. 
Anyone who is aiming to claw back precious seconds is destined to take big risks on the long technical descents as they make their way towards the third and final climb of the day to Cervinia. This last first category climb should be enough to separate the men from the boys. The last four kilometers is the hardest, but if you're ahead, happiness, yeah, you have, a lot, you have a lot of pain in your legs, but you know you can win on the best stage the, on this year. Now is the moment of the glory. I hope that I go find a better day than mine because the weather can make a difference. In a big deal like this, you need many components. I'm lucky to be strong, mentally okay, and this is very important, no crash. 250 meters to the finish, and the winner can say ciao everybody. <laughs>